All right, so here myself and Lord Orobron have our first starter home and starter guild house. Uh, originally, we were Divine Intervention of Justice on Pacific Shard. Like I said, with 360 people, and it rocked. Here you can see my house sign, our house sign. Um, this cost me 130,000 gold, I think, for this house. Not a bad starter house, right? And I keep getting this for some reason. My client's up to date. Orbron doesn't seem to have this issue, but I keep having it. So I just drag it down here and leave it, and the game plays fine. Uh, we'll worry about that in the future. Uh, overview of the help system. You can get unstuck, like in most Ultima games, or you join their Discord. That's about all you can do. Um, so far, the Discord has been helpful. Game options. Um, general layout. Not like the original Ultima, as you can see. This has lots of uh, options. Lots of options. Uh, not as many as Taz UO, which I really like, but they don't have that here, and it's not a big deal. FPS settings, which UO did not have in the beginning. I've got my screen locked, so I can't undo my screen size here. Uh, that does tend to happen if you don't lock it. Macros. You can now make a macro. I'll just call it new macro. And create a macro button for it, like these up here. And you can double click or single click, which my settings in here are single click. So, for an example, I have hiding. Just hide me. Click a button. Tracking. Well, I can't use that yet. <laughs> you have to wait. Use another skill, obviously. And you can track just like that without having any special hotkeys or anything, unless you want hotkeys. Uh, some things I do have on hotkeys, such as circle of transparency. And fonts. Yeah, unless you're a rune reader. I would not recommend using these <laughs> because everything will come up in runes. Counters. That's what these are. Very, very, very handy. Oh, I forgot to turn that on. Show info bar. That's a handy dandy thing right there, too. I'll find a home for that shortly. All the things you can do with containers, like scaling the insides of your containers. Old UO was not made for modern monitors, obviously. 800, 600 was about the standard back then. And of course, we're running 2K, 4K, things like that. So you can scale your backpack size and the items inside of it to help you pick up the data thing, gems and such. Also, you can scale your world. Boing, boing, boing. Yep. Uh, let's go see what's going on. They've got some interesting critters. You can get a Paragon anywhere on the server. Tokeno, Ishnar, Boloka, Trammel, in the mainland, wherever. See, there you go. Wherever you want to be. A corrupt and it's chasing me. I'm sure you don't want to sit there and watch that combat. Ah, this used to be a great place for PvP. Chaos Shrine. The only place reds could res other than a red healer or a player. Alright. You may find this interesting. If anyone here is familiar with Charlie the Unicorn. Candy Mountain. That's the troglodyte cave. 
where the Grobu spawns. It's um, a bit different in there. Uh, I'm not going to go in there by myself. It's suicidal. The Demon Temple on Fire Isle. Oh boy, what have they done here? Spell books. The only thing I can possibly guess about these things over here is that they're a shtick from the Evil Dead series, which I absolutely adore. Thank you, Bruce, for years and years of enjoyment. But these things are freaking horrible. It's not something to mess with. At least not for me. And those can be found at various places and dungeons throughout the land, unfortunately. Okay, one of the favorite to be It still houses a champ on uh, second level down. But yes, you can get paragons and things even in here. Now uh, there's a few little addendums they've put in. See, oh, see there's a paragon. Uh, paragon item and chest rates do seem to be increased for drops. Which is a good thing. I get that knight's kiss or, you know, thing you've wanted so long much quicker. Now these guys don't belong here, but they're here. And I'm glad for them. I get lots of free arrows from those. Yeah, these guys are in. Pretty tough, but certainly not impossible. For the video, though, I'm going to run like a girl. So I can cover more bases. You don't sit here and watch me fight stuff. Pretty interesting addendum that I was not familiar with. I don't know if this is in modern UO or not, but if you're near a moon gate or in your home, you can do a vendor search. This comes in really handy. Just, just for SNGs, power scrolls. Now added. And there you go. Power scrolls. 105, whoa, 120 cooking for $9.99. I'll take it. Screw it. It's worth it. I mean, look at the prices. I mean, you can't beat it. 110 anatomy for $9.99. <laughs> Tactics 120, 999 gold pieces. I mean, come on. And of course, the moon itself. Trammel fell ish, molass, tokeno, teramir, and aodon. Special location House Tour Island. Uh, last, uh, server we left we wanted to do house tours for them and have it set up and oh no that that takes all the adventure out of it so we ended up making well Orbron ended up making the house videos that you can find on our youtube channel that was kind of a screw you we're going to do it one way or another or closed house sales yeah that's nice street vendors all right let's see um magical stone exchange Check these out. Gold sovereigns, brick coins. Yes, they have something called brick coin. It's a grand joke. I love the take on Bitcoin. Event tokens, as I was talking about earlier, you can exchange for power scrolls. A new player team, which has lots of goodies for very cheap, including ethereal mounts for 150 sovereigns. And sovereigns are quite easy to earn here. There's, there's just so much stuff here. High seas goods. Um, skull of power. Halloween holiday. So even if you missed out on some Halloween stuff. Ah, hey, there's Orbron. 
Hey, you bud. Zoop. All right, over to the trammel side, of course. I don't know what the deal is with Feluca. It must be a mental thing. They're just not going to do anything good for Feluca the way they do trammel. I don't care what server you go on. This is a trammel Britain crafting station. has lots of goodies, including a soul forge. One thing I did notice, you cannot buy ingots from a tinker or from a smith on the server. You can get them on the player stone, new player stone, but they are ungodly expensive. Uh, best thing to do is to just go do your own mining. Uh, you can do that in Haven. I'll show you where real quick here in a second. Um, skills go super fast on the server. So I did mining, tinkering, and uh, smithing all in about five hours. All right, so New Haven. Don't even know what it is. I'll take it. Never turned down a free anything. As you can see, just like our previous video, the server is populated. There are plenty of people. But to that mining and such, let's go this way. And I did all those skills, mining, tinkering, and smithing right here, digging ore from this little location, which ore spawns pretty quick too, um, in five hours. And of course, there's the little dungeonette right here if you have a... Uh, combat miner smith whatnot come in here and get additional ore if you don't want to wait on respawns outside which by the time i dug up ore smelted it to a thousand ingots in my pack went through my smithing the ore had respawned so no big deal and a quick return to bank there you go uh, as is traditional on most UO servers, including um, the original uh, OSI broadsword. Zento is a uh, sales market haven. You can find all sorts of crap here. But then again, really all you need is that vendor search. And you can find anything on any vendor, shard wide, trammel, fell, wherever on that search if you don't want to go through the adventure of hunting for it. Yeah, neat little thing, wallet. See here I have a quick make room. I have 812 sovereigns, 838 brick coin, and I'm pretty broke on gold. This is the kind of things available in their store. Probably generically the same as uh, production shards. I wouldn't know. I haven't been on production since 2005 or six. A couple of pre-bonded mounts. I wish they had the wolf, but they don't. But I mean, who doesn't want to ride around on a capybara or a spider or a skeletal cat, right? Not bad considering uh, 400 sovereigns, 1200. Considering you can get sovereigns for nothing, just for existing, or <laughs> pretty much uh, finishing pop up events that can pop on you at any time, going to actual events that are staged and uh, uh, on timers, uh, completing a skill challenge such as Grandmaster Smith will give you sovereigns. Speaking of skills, um, 
on the server, they have master skills and secondary skills. Master skills take up your points, which begin at 720 without uh, skill scrolls and such. Uh, secondary skills do not take up any points at all. That's how I can have detecting hidden, tracking, remove trap, and hiding, and have a seven skill player. And let's don't forget about skill masteries, right? Here we have a skill mastery book for your skill masteries. I'm pretty fresh to skill mastery, so I'm not 100% on how to get them from tier 1 to tier 2 and things of that nature. See here I have parry and chivalry. You can switch between them. There's like a 10 minute timer between them. That way you can't stack too many masteries at once. Too buff. And uh, for the moment, I think that's going to conclude this little tour. If anyone has any questions, check us out on our Discord. Uh, send us a message on our YouTube channel. Uh, you know, add a comment. Please watch us, sub to us, and like us. We don't want your money. That's all we want, subs and likes. And it would be an added bonus if you people out there would come and play games with us, such as you Alive or whatever. Have a good day.